Okay, let's try that again. This time with feeling. Yes. God, I hate George Lucas. <laughs> I'm not sure what that has to do with George Lucas. No, because that's that was uh, they would they did the documentary the um, uh, extras on the Star Wars movies, okay. and all of the actors were like criticizing him in the special commentary. They're like, yeah. Oh, by the way, folks, know what I just did there? You. Use the charged flare when that thing opens and it explodes. You can set a bunch of guys on fire. It looks like you killed all of them. It, it wreaks some havoc. I got all of them or most of them anyway. Nice. Ow. And do not let those guys touch you, for God's sake. But yeah, George Lucas would, uh, his director's commentary when shooting scenes would be like, yes, good, but this time with feeling. And the actors would be like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Well, you know, the well, remember all the, the rich emotions evoked in the, in the prequels, you know, the annoyed petulance and annoyed petulance about sand and... Natalie Portman says that Star Wars helped kill her career. Really? She, yeah, she blames it. Ouch. You should kiss. Well, to be, well, to be fair, I mean, Gray, Gray's drunken jackassery did kill two of their friends... It's true. Not too long ago. Okay. Oh yeah. See what I got now. This yeah. is the this is the explosion ex bolo exploding bolo. Oh nice. This weapon is, is this is a fun weapon. You know I did like probably. It. Go ahead. Probably actually it's actually probably kind of a poor choice for the tight quarters I'm in right now, but. It's a. Uh... What I've always liked about people can fly, they tend to design really cool, interesting weapons. Cause, uh, Is painkiller pain, like that? Painkiller, yeah. Because they have the... Uh, it's like an impaling gun, I think. Cool. It shoots, shoots spikes. Um, there's something There's something kind of like that in this, actually. There's a like a drill launcher. Hmm. Oh, and then uh, the, sh the shuriken gun. Which shoots shurikens. I can't remember what else it does. Lightning! Lightning. Like electrified shurikens. It's pretty cool. Here it is. The flail gun. Yeah, you fire. The flail can wrap around objects. And it, the, the, flail, the reason I mentioned it not being such a great weapon for close quarters is the flail will also like hit like the environment and it can get entangled in that be before it hits a guy. That's interesting. Although, although once you, it can, you can still detonate it after that. So you could, in, in theory, like you know, like, get get an explosive set up on, like, a, a place that they're going to run through and set it off. Oh, like a trap gun. Yeah. Cool. Get ready. Okay. Uh -oh. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I believe, I'm pretty sure I got Ishii with it. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. <laughs> I got Ishii. <laughs> but I think I the explosion actually killed a bad guy anyway just because they were so close. <laughs> you can't, yeah, you can't actually, like I said, your ally, AI allies are invincible, but they will notice if you shoot them. And they don't ever turn on you? No. It's good. Not that I've, at least, or if you, if they, if they can, I've never pushed them far enough. <laughs> but to, as far as I know, no. They, they just get, they just express irritation. Ooh, there's some nice barbed wire. Why is he telling Ishii to leash them? Is that what he said? He said leash these pigs, conserve ammo. You're right, that makes no you're right, that makes no sense. Oh you know, you know what occurs to me? Hmm. If you know si since I said this game seems like it was made for co op, I'm betting in the original draft of the script, Ishii and Gr they, they both got the leash. Yeah. And and so Ishii would have had one, and so that would have made more sense. Because, I won't say who they are, but there are two other characters who are also at various points in your team. Uh-huh. Like, in, in certain parts. And they both also have the, uh... The leash. The leash. Okay. Yeah. So, I, yeah, so I'm seemed... betting... Like I said... Like, which, like I said, I'm betting when this was supposed to be a co-op game, Ishii had one, too. Now you said there is online co-op, though, right? Uh, there was, but it's not for the campaign. Oh, okay. It's just like... It was just like an arena mode. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty sure... I'm, I'm betting that that dialogue was like a vestigial remnant of an earlier... of the of this game's co-op... That sounds like it. ...origins. Yeah, that's... I actually... I actually hadn't thought of that, but yeah, that's a good... that's a good catch there. <laughs> That guy appears to speak speak Jabba the Hutt's language. Huttese. Is that what it's called? Yeah. George Lucas oh. is so creative. You know, when I was you know, when I was a kid I always I never thought that, that was the name of the species. Hut I assume Hut was like Hutt. his title. Like Oh yeah. That's like it was like like it couldn't like, you know, boss or godfather or something. Yeah. Like his his mobster name. Yeah. Because, I mean, if it's just the name of his species, I mean, it's like, you know, if, you know, Princess Leia was just Leia the Human. That's not a very good title. <laughs> Leia the Human. If you had a mobster name, what would it be? Oh, interesting question. I don't know. Well, I, 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 this I was do? a game I played at work with with another guy when we were supposed to be training and stuff uh mine it, it was uh, shifty nicky <laughs> that's pretty good yeah. he, uh he his yeah his name was will so he was willie the hammer i think <laughs> or no hammerhead willie I, I can't remember which one okay so now he's knows... capable soldier Yeah, this is. We're passing through a place that uh, that dead Echo soldier has all already been through. Left a swath of bodies. Okay. So we've got our plan. Kick her in the ass. Yes. Okay. It, well, I mean, if if she, it, I mean, it, if, if she if she doesn't comply. Ah, excellent. So most of my plans go anyway, so I had a good good pick. Ah, there we hey there, there we go. That is uh Jennifer Hale as uh Trishka. Hmm. Jennifer Hale is you've probably never heard her before. And you'll see what I mean in a moment. Swearing like it's going out of style. Well, I mean, like, if, like if you're accustomed to if her being like, you know, Bastila or whatever. Uh, or you. <laughs> you you know my love of the seg of the segway. <laughs> Speaking of. Speaking of. <laughs> oh, I'd I'd actually heard that line before, but I didn't think it would make me laugh again. <laughs> Speaking of jet killing parties. Uh -oh. Is she go is she going for a southern accent? It sounded vaguely southern. Does she talk southern? Although I'm not certain. I'm not... No, not really. I, actually, I don't think it's southern so much as just... I don't know what it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested to hear more of this character's dialogue. Like, like geographically non-specific hick? I don't know. Huh. So, it's... Oh, okay, I don't understand what it is with the space confederacy. Like, how come all the humans in, in the future are in, in space are from the south? I don't know. Maybe this takes place in the StarCraft universe. Yeah. Think of what a twist that would be. <laughs> that poor son of a bitch. <laughs> Isn't that the same in Warhammer, though? Aren't there a bunch of... Because all the Warhammer stuff I saw is like... Uh... Warhammer? Wait, Warhammer? Warhammer, yeah. No, I mean, 
all the humans and everyone in, in Warhammer, you mean Warhammer Fantasy or Warhammer 40k? 40k. No, everyone in 40k is British. Oh. Hmm. The, that makes more sense. The Imperium, the 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 the, 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 the Imperium of Man are all just. The, the Imperium of Man are British, the Eldar are snooty British, the Orcs are thuggish, lower-class British. So it's like, um... Fuck. Doctor Who? Is there... Is everyone British in Doctor Who? Well, I guess they do. <laughs> <laughs> See? See? Yes. Yeah, War the Warhammer Forty Thousand universe is actually a very, it's actually a very complex allegory for 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 cl British class cr class conflict. Somehow. See, I said Doctor Who, but I was actually thinking of Star Wars, because everybody uh, the Imperials are all British. Yeah, the Imperials are British in that. But yeah, everybody in Doctor Who is British as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't know what what gave where you got the idea that. People in the Warhammer universe sound subtle. I don't know. I, um, maybe I'm thinking of some other space thing. Well, in Star Trek, I know they're Starcraft, all they're southern in Star Trek. Green too. For no particular reason. I don't get it. Like I really don't. And then they're they're like the Confederacy and the. As I recall, don't they actually use like a Confederate flag? Yeah. Like I, I think you see it like briefly when like a Confederate like battle cruiser is getting shot down. I think or so, yeah. Like, some... Who knows? Oh. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah, when you can get like multiple skill shots for the same kill, that's that's when it really pays off. We've lost the the entire United States South as a demographic now. Do you realize the South? I didn't say anything bad I'm about the sure. South. We just said everybody in space is from the South. Fair enough. If we said everybody in space is also racist. Okay, yeah, alright. Uh-oh! Speaking of racist, actually, um... Well, you'll see. Or here. <laughs> nice. Take a long way around. Oh, yoink! Nice. Okay, so I think I've got a. Sorry, what? No, I was just gonna ask. Like in in universe, do you have like a update to your HUD that lets you see what you can leash? Or can you? Um, I'm not sure. Well, well I, it might be because like, I remember they mentioned like when you get the uh, when you got the leash, it actually I think it sort of like does like link, like connect to your nervous system. Uh huh. And like you can actually you actually see like at least at least some of the data you see like is actually I think it is actually Grayson seeing it. Hmm. I'm not sure if everything we see is, but. You may recall when we first got it, like, it showed all this text going Yeah, it was saying screen, something like, you know, like updating issue. your HUD. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm, yeah, so I think at least some of the, st like, some of the prompts we see are actually, like, in exist in-universe. Hmm. In Grayson's mind. Yeah. All righty. So much for the bridge. <laughs> Did she say score one for the lady? <laughs> <laughs> 